This is Elke Bushmanov reporting your morning news. Today is January 16, 1998. As you know, the Pumala virus has escalated in this region since its beginning in the summer of 1997. The Pumala virus results in Nephropathia epidemica, a type of hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome also known as HSRS. People who obtain the virus have initial symptoms such as headache, fever, abdominal pain, vomiting, visual problems, PCPE, which are small red dots underneath the skin caused by internal bleeding, reddish eyes, chills, and a flushed face. Later symptoms include low blood pressure, shock, excess or scant amount of urine, muscle pain, and kidney failure. Thus far, there have been a total of six deaths in the past year. The illness seems to affect people between the ages of 2 and 67. So far, there are over a thousand patients registered. Now we go to an interview with Dr. Oleg Tarasov, who has researched the pattern of this outbreak. Previous Dr. Tarasov. Dobre utro, Elga. So, doctor, what is hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome? It is a group of several illness caused by the antivirus, which are the RNA viruses that are transmitted through the vapor of rodent dropping in urine. Hemorrhagic fever specifically is when the overall circulatory system is damaged and the body's ability to regulate itself is impaired. Renal failure syndrome is the failure of the kidneys. The kidneys are so overwhelmed with infection that they just shut down. Where is Pumela virus? Pumela virus is found in Scandinavia, Western Europe, and Russia. And how is it that you will become infected? As I said, from rodent dropping or bite, the pomula virus viral is dependent upon a natural reservoir, which is the host organism. In this case, it is the bank of oil. People can only get this virus from the bank of oil, the rodent, not from people. So it is completely safe to be in the presence of an infected person? What, what do you do? What do you Yes, Elga. Yes, it is. Oh, oh doctor. Oh, yeah. mm. uh, so, uh, doctor, uh, uh, what kind of symptoms are there? As you said previously, Elga, the symptoms are headache, back and abdominal pain, fever, chills, nausea, blurred vision, flushed face, the inflammation of the eyes, pulmonary virus infections are very mild and people could report recovery from weeks to months. And how can this be diagnosed? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Serologic tests of fluids in the blood, such as hemoglobin, that are positive results for the antivirus infection, and evidence of the antivirus antigen in the tissue by immunohistochemical staining. Also, there is the evaluation for hantavirus RNA sequences in the blood or tissue. Oh! Oh, so, uh, uh, how can this be treated, doctor? The patient's fluid and electrolyte levels must be managed, as well as the blood oxygen and pressure. Keeping track of chemicals in the blood is very crucial in keeping healthy with this illness. In severe cases, dialysis may be needed to help control the fluid overload. The antiviral drug intravenous ribavirin decreases illness with HFRS. Oh, and how can HFRS be prevented? <coughs> oh, 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 okay, well I think Elga. The most obvious strategy is rodent control. Everyone must keep... <coughs> by the bank of oil and stay away from the urine in the nesting area. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Parso. Oh, oh. oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Elga. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, Samara. Now you are all up to date with the specifics on HFRS. We now take you to an interview with Boris Zubov and the patient. Hey there, Samara Dasha. 
This is your lawyer and devoted Boris Zubov. Today to facilitate the Pumala virus update. Today we will be seeking out patient Peter Mestin, who has fallen ill from HFRS last month. She is currently residing in the St. Anthony Hospital. Hello, Tamara. We are going to find the dreaded bank wall, the evil rodent creature infesting our inhabitants. Pleasure myself. <coughs> oh, Mr. Zuba. <coughs> nice of you to come here. Oh, oh, oh dear. Sorry, muscle pain. Dobro utro, Peter. Can you tell us how you are feeling? <coughs> oh, oh, I feel terrible. Just terrible. I cannot get out of bed, and my girlfriend remains in the apartment all alone. The only person who keeps me company here is Grammy. Good old Grammy right here. <laughs> uh, how did you come to find that you came down with this illness? Well, you see, I went in because I had the cough. And then what they did, they, they gave me a chest x-ray, and they thought that I had fluids in my chest. <laughs> Then what they did, they gave me a blood test, and they found out what definitely it was that I had. They are, the doctor, he also noticed these red marks on my neck right over here. Oh, they're very, very uncomfortable. Oh. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, how is it that you got this illness? You must be near the, uh, nesting area. Eh, well, uh, I do the assistant plumbing, you see. And so I go down in the basement, and people have wolves down there. Now, it is very unclean and disgusting. And so, I'm just doing my job, and now look what I am. What is that animal looking at? Do not affect Grammy! No! Oh, you disgusting mongrel! I should kill you for this! You and your stupid gas mask! Oh! Peter, how long do you think you'd be in the hospital? Well, you see, after I recover, they're going to keep me here for surveillance. It's not like I need any expensive medical care or anything, but I still do need care, so I stay here. People come in and out of this world all the time with the Pumala virus. I am so, so miserable here. <coughs> so miserable. The number of people who get the sickness corresponds to the activity of the rodent. You'll see, so in the human weather it escalates. Well, yes, yes. I just want it to all end. Well, thank you, Peter. I am very sorry to see you suffering. Are there any additional comments you would like to, to make to our viewers? Well, do not go near any area with the rodents you know, the wolves. And if you must enter a nesting area, make sure that it is very clean and sanitary. Thank you, Peter. Now back to you, Elga. Thank you, Boris. I hope you enjoyed this special on the Pumala virus. This is Elga Bushmanov reporting your morning news. It's Samara. 
I finally found the bank ball. Honey, <laughs> move! Yes! Yes! The, the bank ball! Yes! Yes, you are the one! Yes! Yes! Oh! <laughs>